Do you ever feel overwhelmed by weather theory, unsure about where to find accurate weather information, or struggle to make weather decisions confidently? These challenges are common for many pilots. But today, I'm sharing three powerful resources that will change the way you approach weather. As a pilot and a flight instructor, I've been there, trying to decipher weather reports and make decisions with limited weather information. Over time, I found these resources that changed my approach to weather decision making. Some of them I didn't find until much later in my aviation journey. So I'm sharing them with you today. Today, we're gonna explore three essential and powerful tools. The first will help you build a solid foundation for weather theory. The second is gonna give you quick access to important weather information. And the third is a guide to help you use that information to confidently make safe weather decisions. The first resource is NOAA's jet stream. NOAA is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They've created an online school for weather. And while it's not developed specifically with pilots in mind, it's a great way to lay a foundation for your weather theory and understanding. What's great about NOAA's Jetstream is that it's free to access. You don't even need an account. They have courses that cover a wide range of topics like the atmosphere, global weather, the ocean, precipitation. All of these things we need to know about as pilots. Weather theory can feel really complex. But the more you understand it, the more empowered you'll be to confidently make safe weather decisions. Jetstream helps fill in any gaps that you have so that you may accurately read a weather report and make a good decision based off of it. By going through NOAA's Jetstream online classes and investing a little bit of time in understanding how weather works, you're investing in your safety and confidence as a pilot. And that is the foundation of making smart informed decisions in the air. Maybe you feel like your weather knowledge is up to snuff. You can test it for free on my website, gilbertaviation.com. I've got a quiz where you can go through and answer 10 questions. My checkride weather knowledge quiz will assess if your knowledge is up to snuff for a check ride. And if you don't score perfectly on that quiz, now you have a resource to fill in the gaps of your knowledge at NOAA's Jetstream. The next resource I wanna talk about is an incredible app that you can get on your phone. It's called AeroWeather. This app gives you quick, easy access to the METARs and TAFs at the airports of your choice. This is a great resource when you just need a quick snapshot of what's going on in your local area before you dive into a real full weather briefing. AeroWeather has both free and paid versions available. The interface is incredibly user-friendly for those quick weather checks. You can look at the METARs and TAFs and imagery and a whole host of other information that would be relevant for your flight that day. Personally, I use AeroWeather every morning before my bedside side lamp even comes on. It helps me get a quick glance of what's going on at my home airport and determine if the lessons I do that day are going to be flight lessons or ground instruction. Aero weather provides only a small piece of a full weather briefing. Of course, FAR 91103 walks us through all of the pre-flight action that's required. Weather reports and forecasts are only a small portion of that pre-flight action. If you're unsure that your pre-flight action fits the regulatory requirements and covers all information pertaining to your flight, you can go to my website, gilbertaviation.com slash aerosafe and download for free the Aerosafe Weather Brief Checklist. This checklist walks you step-by-step step through all of the pre-flight action requirements and then further walks you through all of the appropriate weather reports and forecasts. Using the checklist, you can feel confident and empowered that you have covered all of the areas necessary for your flight. And AeroWeather, the app on your phone, is just a small piece of that. The last resource I want to talk about is something that's published by the FAA. It's the General Aviation Pilot's Guide to Weather and Decision Making. This resource is all about helping you make sound decisions from pre-flight all the way through having a thorough post-flight examination of the weather and the environment and the decisions that you made. The guide outlines how to think about and plan for weather during pre-flight, in route, and post-flight. There's appendices in the back that have checklists and guides like personal minimums worksheet, a weather analysis worksheet, and there's even a tool at the back for estimating visibility and cloud clearance. One of my favorite parts of this guide is how it encourages you to walk through a post-flight weather 
be brief. It's important that we think about the weather and the decisions we made even after we're safely on the ground. Sometimes it's easy to conflate good outcomes with good decisions. Further, once we're removed from a situation, we're better able to have a clear picture when we're not in the moment emotionally of the decisions that we made and if they really were good decisions. As a student pilot, I wish I had known about this guide. I relied so much on my flight instructor to make that final go or no go decision. I would encourage you to use this guide and study this guide to think about how you would make weather decisions based on environmental conditions. Take control and authority over your flight training and experience. If you want to feel more confident and in control of your weather decisions, this guide is perfect for you. Now that you've seen these tools, it's time to put them in action. Start exploring NOAA's jet stream. Check your local conditions on aero weather and dive into the FAA guide to refine your weather decision making. If you're finding value in these videos, please consider supporting AeroSafe through Patreon at patreon.com slash AeroSafe. Your support helps me continue to bring these videos to you each week. I want to keep creating content that empowers pilots just like you to make better decisions. And don't forget to go to my website to check out that weather knowledge quiz and the AeroSafe Weather Brief Checklist. So today we've talked about three weather resources. One, to improve your understanding of weather theory. Another, for quick access to weather reports, METARs and TAFs at your, the airports of your choosing. And the last resource to help you refine your weather decision-making process. I want you to feel confident and comfortable and remember that you don't have to be overwhelmed by the weather. With the right tools and commitment to learning, you will become the confident and empowered pilot that you've always wanted to be. If this video helped you, please remember to like it, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment sharing your favorite weather resource. I would love to hear from you.